hello guys and welcome to my channel i know it has been a while since uh, the last video i have posted so uh, i've recently bought this watch uh, casio g-shock i never had any g-shocks in my collection so i i thought uh, i've seen this one and i didn't have any orange watches in my collection either so i said i'm gonna give it a go um casio g-shock um i think this is model 2022 um model ga um let me double check that so i'm not gonna tell you anything wrong it's a ga 2200m uh, now this is the orange version there are quite a few others out there there is a black one a blue one i've seen uh, quite a few and those are the details as well if that's gonna help you anyhow um, the watch is fairly small if you are used to Casio G-Shocks and all that uh, please check the technical details the dimensions of the watch because you may be a bit disappointed I'm um, quite happy actually because my wrist is fairly small and the previous um, G-Shocks uh, on the market they were fairly too big for me um, probably one of the reasons I have never bought myself one of those G-Shocks um, I bought this one now. Um, again, my wrist is uh, is very small, uh, very thin, uh, so this one would fit in just perfectly in there. Uh, so very happy with that. But um, when the watch arrived, I had a big surprise, and the hands were not aligned. Um, the analog dial of the watch was completely off um, with the digital one, so they were not synchronizing. I watched tutorials because I've never had any Casios. I didn't know that those are fairly complicated if you don't know how to adjust them. Uh, once you start to make a bit of uh, sense into what each of those uh, buttons do, then it's gonna be, become a bit easier uh, to understand and adjust your uh, watch in the settings. And now this is gonna be hopefully not as difficult because the camera might not show exactly all the tiny details on this watch right so to give you the insight and explain you exactly how to change um, and how to say reset or adjust the analog uh, tongs of your watch um, this is how you will have to do it so say for example you've watched a tutorial about how to adjust your watch how to change the the mode and put it onto your whatever time zone you are um, London Tokyo whatever this watch I think it's got like 48 different time zones uh, different cities to choose from different time zones uh, mine is set on London uh, that's where I uh, currently live so um, that's the time I have uh, set on the watch for London and just trying to focus it somehow sorry about that yeah so in london and again it was showing digitally it was showing correctly like 1841 for example now but the analog uh, lines were literally completely off uh, showing a completely different time so i couldn't find any reviews on youtube and i said okay i'm gonna give a go i'm gonna try and do it myself uh, and i found the manual uh, which is um, quite explanatory in there so if you are not going to be able after I'm going to show you this although I doubt because uh, it should be quite comprehensive uh, in the manual if you look online for the special um, GA uh, 2200M model you'll find the manual book in there and then you'd go to adjusting hand alignment that's how it's called the setting and that's going to tell you exactly uh, how to do it so um, let me show you in here exactly how to adjust your analog um, hands on your watch. Uh, you would simply have to go on pressing the adjust button at the top. You'll have to hold that one pressed for roughly about five seconds until you're going to see sub. Something's going to be written in there, sub. And you'll have to literally, when that one's going to start flickering sub, you'll have to release um, your finger off the adjust button. So you press, it says on set, London, set again, sob. Once it got, gets to sob, you just release your hand. Once you've done that, you're in the correct menu. Yeah, as you can see in there, sob is flickering. So you are in the correct mode for adjusting 
the hands on the analog dial. So what you will have to do now, it's first of all, you will have to make sure that the very tiny dial in here, this one, the round one, which shows you the wall time, the um, chronograph and whatever other settings this watch may still have in there. You'll have to make sure that this is pointing at six o'clock. So this arrow in here should be pointing down. If it's not pointing down, then you'll have to use reset or start button to adjust that one. So you do this, if you keep it halty, it's gonna go up or down or whatever, and you'll have to make sure that that one is pointing down. So as long as that one is pointing down, you are in the correct menu, you're doing a good job. So carry on by doing that. After you've aligned it, then you'll have to go on and change your um, analog tongs. Make sure that they are aligned. So what you'll have to do is you'll have to press the adjust the mode button. You'll have to press the mode button. Yeah, and those are just randomly gonna go somewhere now, depending on the alignment of your watch. Mine should stop at precisely 12 o'clock because I have previously adjusted. But say for example, if that one would not stop at 12 o'clock, what you'll have to do, you'll have to do it manually. So in this case then, you have again, the buttons on this side, you have the reset and the start button. So you'll have to keep on pressing on one of those, one goes backwards, the other one goes forward, until they will go to exactly 12 o'clock, once they will align perfectly at 12 o'clock, yeah? Then you simply have to press again the button adjust, simply like that, and your watch is gonna go on whatever city it's set at the moment, it's simply gonna go by itself, nicely align uh, the analog with the digital on your watch, and there you go. I know it can be quite stressful and, and um, it will take a lot of time. You may think the watch is um, it's broken, it's not working function, it's not functioning correctly, it's defective, it's not, it's just uh, sometimes, I don't know, they go out of sync or maybe uh, we've randomly played with the buttons and we, um, we somehow misaligned the analog uh, with the digital. So again, what you'll have to do, press adjust, hold it until the sob in here, where it says sob, when that one's gonna start flickering, and that's the mode you're looking for. First, you would adjust this tongue in here from those two buttons, yeah? Reset and start. So make sure that one is pointing at six o'clock, the very, very tiny sub dial in there, yeah? As long as that one is pointing at six o'clock, then you press on the mode again, and that's gonna take you to the um, analog alignment. So they will randomly start going somewhere and they will stop at some point. If they are stopping and pointing precisely at 12 o'clock, then they are adjusted, they are in sync with your digital watch. So it's just a matter then maybe you will have to uh, readjust the time zone. But if they are not, if they are not precisely at 12 o'clock and they're stopping randomly at whatever time uh, they would indicate, then just simply adjust them manually with reset or start, keep on hold to that one until they will go like somewhere close to that. And then by pressing one at a time, that's gonna take you minute by minute to until you're gonna point it precisely to 12 o'clock. After you've adjusted them both to 12 o'clock, simply press adjust again and and the watch should simply pick up and it's gonna sync with your digital watch. I hope this is comprehensive enough. Uh, if you guys still have any um, issues into how to do that, um, I'm not sure if this is gonna work. I'm gonna show you the screen of uh, another phone where exactly that book is, uh, the manual about how to align the hands on your watch and Hopefully in there you can just take a screenshot and simply go from there if that's going to be more um, easier for you. See, so it says adjusting hand alignment. That's from the manual book. Uh, <clears throat> enter timekeeping mode. Yeah, um, hold on for a few seconds until the stop sub starts to flash. Yeah, so everything it's in there if uh, my explanation was not good enough. Just pause on this screen 
and follow the instructions in there if that's going to be easier for you to adjust um, to adjust it so that being said um, thank you for watching guys uh, once again um, uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna post another review for this watch uh, this one can work as a review as well um, simply Casio G-Shock um, fairly comfortable on the hand again uh, this is quite small compared with other G-Shocks you may be used with from the past um, I like it this way I'm, I'm quite happy with the size of it um, so that's what it is it's a very beautiful orange uh, I kind of like it very very nice orange color um, with tiny orange on the fingers as well it's got some light mode as well which is only well it's hopefully during the night it's gonna be um, <laughs> a bit more illuminated because it doesn't um, impress me at the moment but that's not the idea I didn't buy it for the light on the night mode so Casio G-Shock GA uh, 2200M orange color beautiful watch by all means if you don't have one in your collection do add it uh, thank you guys and I will see you in my next video if you like what I'm doing just please uh, hit the like button subscribe if you wish as well uh, do not be upset or offended I'm using the same channel for watch reviews as well as for a bit of gaming whenever my time allows me to do that so um, if you if that's not something that you'd like to see then by all means just thank you for watching this video and I wish you all a very nice morning, day, evening, whatever is uh, where you are watching this video from. Bye bye.